to one and all for the inauguration function of the certificate course in Bengali language and culture. I request our guest of honor, Mr. Sabhasachi Mukherjee sir, to light the lamp and inaugurate the course. Now, I request Dr. Abhira Dumatkar, ma'am, Head Department of History and Coordinator of the said course, to say a few words about the course. Hello, welcome. Uh, my uh, teacher and our honorable guest today is Shobhashachu Mukhopadhyay. And um, our principal madam, Devashish Ghosh, my teacher, uh, and you all, my colleague Prasad. Um, see, we are very happy to inaugurate, I mean, we are very happy that such a great person has inaugurated our course. Now, uh, this is a certificate course in Bengali. Uh, as we know that Mumbai University has no course in Bengali, they have our certificate courses in other languages, Marathi, Gujarati, Sindhi, Urdu, etc. So probably this will be, uh, I mean there are private classes, there are uh, classes that way, but this is a graded course that we are planning to start. And in future we, we want to start, I mean that is what I have planned, that there will be certificate course, diploma and advanced diploma in Bengali. I have designed this course in collaboration with Devashish Ghosh, my teacher, Bengali teacher. So uh, we are very happy to start this course and um, uh, see how I arrived at this course, I must tell you. Uh, there is, there was a boy from our, school, our college, now he has shifted to Ruiya. Niranjan Tambe. Niranjan is here? Yeah. So Niranjan once uh, just told me that, Madam, I want to learn Bengali. He wanted to go and study in the Presidency College. So I Madam, why don't you teach Bengali? So I said, instead of, then I thought instead of teaching to only one person, if I start this course, many persons will learn. And um, then I started, I mean, I, I thought of starting this course. And then I felt that, Niranjan, I want to honor you. Because sometimes studious students, you know, sometimes whatever they suggest us really uh, materializes in a good thing. Because now we are starting this certificate course diploma, advanced diploma, and I wish to take university, I mean, I want to apply to academic council to get certification from Mumbai University. So if that materializes, then this will be the first course of Mumbai University. Sort of, we are introducing Bengali language in Mumbai University. So I'll be very happy. So that is why I want to honor Niranjan that because of him, this course is seen, uh, um, is materializing. Now, uh, what we have, we are trying to do is uh, this course. I want to, uh, uh, I want this course as a modern kind of course. Our traditional uh, way is. Uh, we just uh, teach to read and write and um, we have to learn books and answer. I don't want that today. I want conversation, you know, reading, writing, uh, speaking and listening. All four, uh, say, uh, characteristics of uh, a language, language learning course. I want them to be here. I have done French and German courses from Allianz and Max Müller. And then I felt that those courses were drastically different. So I want this course to be like that. 
So we want, apart from re conversation in Bengali, reading writing in Bengali, we would be introducing aspects of culture. This course is Bengali language and culture. So there will be Ravindra Sangeet uh, taught Devashish Ghosh, my teacher, he knows to sing well. So part of Ravindra Sangeet, Nazrul Giti and Bengali food, we will be telling them how it is or there will be Bengali films will be telecast. So we, we want to do it in that manner. That is what we are aiming. Uh, now, very few, I mean, a lip, some words in Bengali. See, why did we Bangla course? Why did we start Bangla Darun Mishti Bhasha? And we... Yes. Because we know that we are in the country of Bangla ki Bangla ki bhumika chilo ar Bangla sahitya ki rakum shob bharatiya bhashader prabhavito koreche amra jani Sharad Chandra Rabindranath Bankim Chandra oder sahitya ki rakum shob bharatiya bhashate onudito hoyeche tar jonno ar ami amra e chai je adhunik riti riti diye amra একটা ভারতীয় ভাষা কি রকম শিখাতে পারবো আমি সেটা জানতে চাই তার জন্য আমরা এই কোর্স শুরু করেছি and why I have started is I want to you know we started certificate course in Modi in 2016 because friends you know that history requires literary sources knowledge of literary so more languages you know you will be you will have more access to literary sources Bengali and we also started Urdu because these are two languages of modern Indian history, which will provide you source material in these languages. So in future, I am planning to start uh, language courses in modern European languages, which are useful for historical research. But that is our future plan. Huh? So thanks a lot for attending this function. And I must tell that the, uh, we have got 31 students of all age, and we have got two batches, morning batch and evening batch. So I'm very happy to add this scenario. Thank you. I now request our principal, Dr. Kavita Regi Madam, to say a few words and also to read out Mr. Sabya Sajay Mukherjee Sir's achievements to all of us. Thank you. Uh, it's such a wonderful thing to start a course which immediately got enrollment of 31 of you. I must congratulate you all for taking interest in learning a language which is such a rich one, which has so much of literary content. And thanks to the uh, threesome here who are extremely, uh, I would say, erudite uh, people, I am lucky to sit amongst them, I would just say that, because this is something which is amazing to see Sabaya Sachi Mukherjee coming here to us. And Sir Devashish Ghosh, you immediately <coughs> accepted uh, our uh, sort of request to start a course here. We are really happy that, uh, and of course your name and uh, Abhida's uh, persuasion and hard work in getting anything done. Like, she is just amazing. And full of ideas all the time. I am so blessed when Suresh Pandit is sitting here. I feel the college or any academic institution progresses if they have such inspiring teachers. You know, all this comes together and then the society of course is helping us in, uh, in the way you all have joined us. Now this Sate College, some of you might be aware, is uh, almost completing 60 years. In 2018, we will be completing 60 years of our existence. It started as an art science college, but very uh, quickly it expanded to commerce and in variety of uh, humanities subjects. Also with changing times, information technology, management studies, mass media courses. So we have more than seven and a half thousand students taking education in this premises. And uh, we always are open to new ideas because as she was saying, Modi script we have started. Then uh, Suraj Pandit has been teaching sometimes the Kharoshti uh, script also. So all these things, you know, 
it feels good that there are takers for this, that people are interested. That means all these things are not dying out. People are still interested in Pali and Kharosh team. Those uh, scripts, they want to learn something. Our students also are contributing to a lot of archaeological surveys or taking great interest in history, which I feel preserves our culture. And that is the thing that is that makes us stand out differently in this world. Because as uh, Sabya Sachi ji pointed out, we are fast losing our culture in globalization. And uh, it is our duty to preserve culture because that is something which has given us such rich heritage. So we really have to work towards it and this is one way of because language is a way of preserving culture. Language gives us insights into our history and that is why we must read more, we must learn more languages, we must translate one literature, one language literature to another language. For that we need to learn, of course, all these languages and we have an opportunity. I must thank you all students who have enrolled for this language. You are the ones who are inspiring a college like ours to start these new courses. So we will be starting Urdu as well and of course few more languages. Here in these premises we teach German language also. So by and by we will grow up and we will start having a kind of language center here with your support. And we have an eminent personality, of course, Sabya Saji Mukherjee. All of you have been seeing the progress that our museum, okay, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Vastu Sangrahalay, which is called as a long name, but we call it all museum. And it has really made so much of progress. It has become so proactive and it has become so pro-people. He has been coming up with great ideas, is always doing something or the other, every time something new is happening in the museum because he is extremely active he wants to reach out to people and make he wants to make museum people friendly and there are a lot of projects that he has got i'll just briefly introduce him because he has sent up the shortest possible by data his by data otherwise would run into pages but sir we are i must immediately like right in the beginning i would express my gratitude that you have made a visit to our college we are we feel blessed that people like you come here so thank you very much uh, mr sabya sachi mukherjee is the director general of chhatrapati shivaji maharaj vastu sangrahalaya formerly prince of wales museum of western india he heads the postgraduate diploma program in museology and conservation conducted by CSM VS Museum um, in affiliation with University of Mumbai. He has initiated several innovative projects including the Museum Modernization Plan at CS, uh, CSM VS and is credited with revitalizing both the infrastructure, human resource, activities and reach of the museum. Um, if you remember sometime back we had a museum bus here last year. Uh, that also is uh, his idea. Mr. Mukherjee has degrees in archaeology and museology from the MS University, Baroda. He has edited and published several books and journals on different aspects of Indian art and culture. He is a member of Bysort Group, USA and also fellow of Nehru Trust, Charles Wallace and of the Salzburg Global Seminar. It's amazing that we have such a person addressing you today and of course in the fitness of things both the dignitaries, I must thank them and uh, may I, mm, yeah, you can take over. I request Dr. Inge Malin to felicitate our guest of honor, Mr. Sambha Sanjay Mukherjee, sir, as explained by Abida Malin. Played by Abida Madan, Niranjan Tambe, a student of our college till last year, was instrumental in inspiring indirectly Abida Ma'am to start this course. Therefore, Abida Ma'am wants to give him a token. May I request our guest, Mr. Sabisachi Mukherjee, sir, to give Niranjan this token? Now request Mr. Devashish Ghosh, the teacher of the said course, to express his views. But before that, Mr. Devashish Ghosh, 
has been teaching Bengali for two decades. As a member of Nikhil Bharat Banga Sahitya, he launched first Bengali weekly in Mumbai named Bruhaspati, and now he has launched a Bengali channel, Bruhaspati. Mr. Sachin Mukherjee, Principal Dr. Gupta Rehu, my beloved Bengali student, Dr. Ravida Tamatkar, and the distinguished learners of Bengali today, those who are present over here. So many things have been told by Ravida in Bengali also, right now, and this is not a place to I tell anything about Bengali language, you know all these things. Otherwise, why should you come here? But one thing I would like to mention over here is that this college, Satay College, has created a history in the Bengali language history in Mumbai by introducing this course, this certificate, college certificate course. Because there are so many Bengali associations and other organizations also, they have tried to teach Bengali for their children. Those are very much limited. Nikhil Bharat Bhamma Shahid It was established in 1922. And in 1923, the first president of the first convocation was Rabindranath Tagore in Benaras. So once I found that there was no scope to learn or to teach Bengali in Mumbai, in 1999 I launched the first Bengali newspaper from Mumbai. After that I realized that the readership of the newspaper would not go more than 3,000 per issue because there is no Bengali teaching course for the children of Bengali community even. So who will be the reader? Then we have started the Bengali teaching course under the banner of Yosemite newspaper. After one year, that was in 1999, and after one year, we took the affiliation from Nikhil Bhag Bongo Saito Sammelan. It's an all India organization. Head of the system, Delhi. It's a head of the And we have established the branch Motto Mumbai Shaka, Motto Mumbai branch of Nikhil Bhag Bongo Saito Sammelan. Afterwards, we are teaching over there and now also it's running. But the significance of this course today, which is going to be started right now, already has been started, I think. That is the certificate course, college certificate course, is something else, is something different than the other organizational certificates. So it's a great day in the history of Bengali language in Mumbai that you have done this college. So I must thank you all for inviting me. I am very much honored to be here. Thank you very much. Now, I appeal to our guest of honor, Mr. Sabesachi Mukherjee, to guide our audience. Good, mor good morning, friends. Uh, Dr. Kavita Principal of Sati College. Dr. Avida Uthamadkar, our dear friend, Professor Suraj Pandit. It's my privilege and an honor to be here with all of you. Let me tell you, Sati College is one of the finest colleges in the city. And I, I feel, you know, blessed to be here. 
at the campus, and this is my first visit to your institute. I heard so much about your institute and the close association of Suraj Parmit with the museum. So getting an opportunity to visit your institute. There is a saying, beautiful things grow in a beautiful environment. And I could see that all you know, good things are happening here in the institute. It's not that one language is sweet. All languages are beautiful and sweet. Language is one of the greatest invention of mankind. One of the greatest invention. When it was invented, we don't know. In Indian context, the past you know, script we see during Harappa time, Unfortunately, we are not in position to decipher them. We really don't know about the languages during Harappa time, but we come across everywhere. They recorded their history, the script. First time, we could read our script, Brahmi. And then <coughs> credit goes to, excuse me, credit goes to James Prince, who translated. Brahmi into English. And there is a lot of similarity between Marathi language, Marathi culture, and Bengali language and Bengali culture. And we belong to the same language family, that is Indo-Aryan. And there, there are influences, Iranian influences, we could see on our languages. So broadly, you know, two families, Indo-Aryan, and the Dravidian in India, we see that you know when we uh, do research from where you know, these languages originated. So Marathi and Bengali, they belong to you know same family. And uh, language is an integral part of our cultural heritage. What is our identity? Our identity, our regional identity. There are two things. Geographical location, when I look at myself, eastern part of India, that is Bengal, and my lang language, Bengali. So that's my regional identity. And then I have national identity, and then global identity, that I'm a part of the world, global narrative. And it is our duty, it is our responsibility to preserve our cultural heritage. And I'm, I'm extremely happy that the institute like, you know, Sati College uh, introducing regional language and already 31 students uh, registered with the college. That's, that, that's a good development. And there is a little bit, you know, uh, I want to mention, uh, yes, uh, that uh, reform movement, national uh, freedom movement, all that, you know, when we look at. But let me tell you, that there are many things, uh, Bengal, and Beng there are many leaders of Bengali leaders, they were inspired by uh, Marathi leaders. And the reform, reformist movement, it all started, you know, when we study Indian history uh, in western part of India, particularly Maharashtra. And Shandanisha, uh, Eknath, uh, we can't forget them, their contribution. Even Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, later we see, you know, Jyotira Phule, Shavitri Sabitri by Phule, mother of modern education, and we all owe her. Binoba Bhabe, Lukmanu Tilak, Nana Desmukh, Marshi Karbe, girls' education in 1850. Unbelievable. And there was a link between Bengal and Maharashtra. 
I don't know how many of you know that uh, Rabindranath Tagore, uh, when he came to Bombay, then Bombay, uh, at 17, he was 17 years old, his brother Shatendana Tagore, he was, you know, he was here, stationed at, stationed at Bombay, and he was the first, you know, uh, to be inducted uh, in Indian civil service the first Indian to be inducted. And uh, Morshi Devendra Tagore, he was a little concerned about Rabindranath's further education because he had no formal education. And Devendra Tagore was thinking of you know, sending Rabindra Tagore to London for higher education. So he came to Bombay and spent two months. And he had a little you know, crash with modesty and growth. Annapurna, that was probably, you know, Rabindranath Tagore's first love. <laughs> I don't know how many of you know, but it's a fact, you know. And uh, what I hear, you know, from, from the people and, and the text, uh, uh, she was the daughter, you know, second daughter of Dr. Atmaram Turkut. Atmaram Pan, Pan, Pandurang Turkut. Yeah. He was, I think, one of the founders of Prathana Samaj. And uh, his second daughter, Annapurna, Anna, uh, he was, she was popularly known. Uh, actually, Shatendra Tagore uh, appointed her to teach Ravina Tagore English. And Tagore admitted, even in later stage, that I learned a lot from Annapurna. So it's a give and take relation. And this relation continued for many years. And that is why we Bengalis in Maharashtra feel extremely comfortable. Because there is no cultural difference. It, it is the same culture, almost. Same kind of food and the intellectual capacity when it comes to you know, intellectual contribution <clears throat> in drama, in literature, in film, a lot of similarity. So we are, you know, we are, we are happy that you, know, uh, you decided to teach Bengali language. And there is another anxiety, you know, and the why? How we preserve this language? It's not one or two. Uh, according to statistics, there is a common statistic. It shows 122 languages. <coughs> but unofficial survey, it gives us a kind of picture which is threatening. India used to speak 780 languages. 50 years ago, 780 languages. In 50 years, we lost 220 languages. An adverse impact of globalization, technology, and power politics. And there is a kind of anxiety in the minds of people that we will be losing another 150 languages in the next 50 years. There is not a single institute to record these changes. And trust me, there are regions like Madhya Pradesh, Orisha, Maharashtra, hundreds of tribals live in these you know, three, four regions. And, and they are losing their identity slowly, gradually. And there is no one to record. So this is important, that how do we record? It's a part of intangible heritage. There are two types of heritage we find, tangible and intangible. So language is an integral part of intangible heritage. Otherwise, what will happen? Uh, migrants, immigrants, people coming from different regions to Mumbai or big cities like Delhi, they go, what you, what you said very rightly said, that even the Bengalis 
in Maharashtra. They don't, they don't read Bengali newspaper. I am concerned about my 21-year-old daughter. She can speak Bengali, but she cannot write Bengali. The migration, you know, because of livelihood, we move from one place to another place. And with the time, we get assimilated into new culture and lose our identity. So it's, it's a serious question that how we preserve our identity, our cultural identity. What will happen? So today she is, she is in position to speak, but her next generation will be in position to speak. So everyone joining the majority. And, and the kind of trend we created, even the language I'm speaking, it's not our Indian language. The dress I'm wearing, it's not our Indian dress. So it's it, the impact of globalization. We know that, you know, that we live in internet age. But how do we maintain? How do we preserve? That's the question. How do we record? Culture evolves with the time. Society evolves with the time. Human body evolves with the time. But there has to be a kind of system to record. Otherwise, the next generation, when they search for identity, what is happening in Germany? In Germany, people searching for their identity. So refugees entering into different countries, they settle, and the next generation, they look for identity. So there are places like universities, museums, archives and libraries to preserve these changes. So the next generation, when they search for identity, they come, they visit these places and they see and connect. Yesterday, I was in the museum for few minutes. I just went there because some work was going on. And we created a gallery dedicated to Himalayan art. It's you know, Himalayan culture. And a group of Northeast students, young students, age group between 16 to 21, 22, about 20, 25 students, they came to the museum. And when they entered into the Himalayan section, I was there for five minutes looking at them, their expression. That in Mumbai they could connect with their cultural heritage. And the happiness on their faces. Probably they could not see them even in their own region. Because there is no institute showcasing Himalayan heritage, Himalayan culture in the country. Probably ours is the only institute in the country showcasing Himalayan culture, Himalayan heritage. So some students, you know, they started praying in front of Maitreya. Some students, they started crying. The emotional, you know, attachment, connection. So these are the things we need to we need to understand, we need to promote different languages, we need to explain different, the beauty of different cultures to, to create a better society. And that is most important in, in today's world. And I end with, you know, Tagore's uh, very popular poem. Chitto jeta bhai shunno, ucho jeta shir, gyan jeta mukto jeta griher prachin. Apon prangon tale divosh sharbori, poshudhare rakhenai khandu khudra kori, jeta bakko hidayer utsho mukhote, utsho shiyavote. Just one better. Where the mind is without fear and the hate is held high. Where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic worlds, where words come out from the depth of truth. Words come out from the depth of truth. Thank you for that.
now I ask my friend Ms. Pranali Bandekar from TYBA History to say a word of thanks. Good morning, one and all present here. First of all, my heartiest thanks to our honorable guest, Mr. Sabre Sachi Mukherjee sir, for spending his valuable time for the inaugural function of our certificate course in Bengali language and culture. I thank Principal Dr. Kavita Rege ma'am and Vice Principals Dr. Madhav Rajwadi and Dr. Milin Doshi sir for the support. My thanks to the history department that is Abhida ma'am and Prasad sir for launching the course in Bengali language and culture. I thanks Mr. Debashish Ghosh for accepting to teach the said course. We also thank Mr. Chito Mastri for all the technical aid. And last but not the least, we thank all those who have enrolled for the course and made this course a grand success. Thank you.